Bridge Beach is where Liz Romero Kibalowski walks every day at sunrise. This is a gift. I feel like it's my way of giving back. Her walks aren't just about soaking in the salt air. Each stride serves a deeper purpose. I usually pick up a couple bags of trash. An animal can consume that. Plastic is usually what she patrols for, but the day after Mother's Day, she found much more. First thing I saw were three balloons. Boom, boom, boom. Right after that, I found a northern gannet uh, that looked like a balloon ribbon had been wrapped around its neck and it was it was dead unfortunately. Wildlife strangled by the tattered remnants of someone releasing a form of remembrance. It's really easy for uh, both wild animals and domestic animals to mistake uh, balloons for food. Environmentalists say balloons can take years to break down, traveling hundreds or thousands of miles and falling back to the earth wreaking havoc on our precious wildlife. According to the nonprofit balloonsblow.org, they say their beach litter surveys have found the amount of plastic and balloon pieces found on area beaches has tripled in the past decade. Romero Kibaleski found 11 balloons on her last morning walks and hopes they will be her last. There's so many other ways to say I love you to someone who's passed away. Uh, pinwheels, planting a garden, um, buying a bench in a public place with a plaque on it. A safer way to leave a mark without leaving detrimental effects. In Sandbridge, Chelsea Donovan, News 3.